Hi there, my name is Maya King. I am a student reporter with the 2017 NABJ Student Project, and I'm joined here today by former mayor of New Orleans and current president of the National Urban League, Mr. Mark Morial. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me, and uh, congratulations on the project. Thank you, and thank you for being here with me. So tell me, Mr. Morial, how are you enjoying NABJ 17? Well, NABJ 17 looks like it's got record attendance. I know it's in a great city, New Orleans, and it's just so great to see uh, both some of the veterans like uh, Dwayne Wickham and Warren Bell and Les Payne, uh, people I've known over many, many years, uh, along with all of the new, uh, the new journalists mm -hmm. and the new aspiring journalists uh, from all over the country. Uh, I'm, I'm really inspired uh, by what I see, and I'm enthused at what I see because it tells me that uh, there's a generation prepared and ready to take uh, black journalistic presence to a new level. But there's also a sense, and I saw Al Roker and his wife too, from some of the veterans that uh, they are poised to give back, poised to lift up, poised to share uh, insight to the new and emerging generation of journalists. Sure. And you spoke a little bit more about that, the new next generation, um, at the panel discussion that we held a little bit earlier about launching new dimensions. Mm -hmm. You were a young mayor of New Orleans, and you've witnessed firsthand what it's like to be young, breaking into the industry, whether it's politics or the media. What is your advice to some of the future, whether people are here to get their word out as far as running for office or whether they're just trying to get a job? You know, they've got to, you've got to lean into your aspirations and your dreams. Uh, you've got to pursue uh, your vision for yourself and for your community. Uh, I am on a little bit of a personal campaign to encourage young people and new voices to run for public office. Uh, it should not be seen as a criticism uh, of those who hold public office uh, in a blanket way. Mm -hmm. But what it does suggest is that our community's leadership needs new voices, needs new energy, needs new faces. Uh, I was a young uh, member of the Louisiana legislature uh, serving in the Senate at 32, 33 years of age. I was a young mayor of New Orleans. Uh, uh, we had, uh, and it gave me an opportunity to bring lots of young people into government. We had a majority of our council members who were under 40. We had many members of our cabinet uh, in prominent positions, in department head positions, who were under 40. Uh, and that energy and that enthusiasm and that sense of uh, a willingness to try to do things in a new and different way made a huge difference in this city mm -hmm. uh, in the 1990s. Uh, Barack Obama was a young president. Bill Clinton uh, was a young president. Uh, that dose and burst of looking forward and not simply always simply looking backward. Looking backward to learn, but looking forward to lead. Mm. And that's a crucial point. And it's a distinction. And so I think what's good here is that journalists get an opportunity to meet each other. If people who are here who have political aspirations are here, they also should understand the value and the importance of journalism and the media, mm -hmm. of, uh, of getting your word out, uh, and also the understanding that uh, uh, journalists are not there to always, quote unquote, be your friend. Right. Uh, they're there in many instances to play a role sometimes in holding you accountable. It's a, it's a fine and, 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 and delicate balance, but it's an important balance and it's a check and a balance in our democracy. It's good to see new and emerging black journalists mm -hmm. uh, bring perspectives, bring life experiences, bring their understanding uh, of the community to, uh, to not only newspapers, but to digital media, to television and radio, and all platforms that, uh, if you will, information travels now. And on the backdrop of New Orleans, that's even more important. And it takes me really to my last question, mm -hmm. which is, what do you believe are the next steps for this city, your city? Well, this city now has a mayor's race, and there's going to be a transformation of leadership. And uh, I hope that whoever is elected is prepared to lead the city into the future. This city uh, has made uh, important strides since Hurricane Katrina. Mm -hmm. But the deep-seated problems of this city, poverty, and violence, and they're very related to each other, still, still require the attention, require the energy, require the focus of the city's political, business, and civic leadership. I think sometimes in New Orleans, 
people want to push the difficult problems under the rug mm. or they want to just point fingers and blame somebody or some bodies mm -hmm. and therefore shirk their responsibility. Uh, we have to re recognize that New Orleans is strength and power, uh, its economic standing uh, uh, is based on a lot of people who work. Uh, they work hard every day, but they are still poor or close to poor. They're still struggling to make ends meet. So the challenge of economic uh, 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 poverty and income inequality and the need for people to uh, earn more uh, is really a challenge that this city has got to confront uh, if it is going to take the next step in the 21st century. Wow. Well, powerful words. Thank you. I'm a powerful man. Thank, Thank you. you so much Appreciate for joining it. me. Thank you. Thanks for having me.